chest. Frank first stand up. What it is, what it do. Frank fuck crew. Sports, weather, and more. After the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today is the final day to vote for homecoming king and queen. Check your email for a Google form from Mrs. Mowdy to vote. For the last college go week question, we are adding a little football into it. The question is, what team is ranked number one in the nation? Send your answer to the guidance office, please. Now for everyone's favorite segment with Brody and Damaris. The question of the day is, who is your favorite football player? Now sending it to Brody and Damaris. What's up, guys? I'm here with Brody and Damaris, and the question of the day is, who's your favorite football player? Brody, who's your favorite football player? Frank for Indiana High School Hot Dog. Hey, he likes all the Frankfurt guys here. What about you? RJ. RJ? Hey, RJ Kornman back there at the desk. All right, that's all from us. Back to your hosts. I love, love Frankfurt's football team as well. Now sending it to Alyssa for sports. Thanks, Barley. If you haven't voted, be sure to vote for Alyssa Padilla and Isaac Adams. But anyways, we have girls soccer, volleyball, and boys tennis results from last night. For girls soccer, the Hot Dogs played well against North Montgomery last night for senior night with a score of 3-0. With goals coming from Rachel Garcia, Ava Michael, Jackie Tovar, and Emily Mora and Diana Santos also had great play. Now moving on to boys tennis. The tennis team lost to Rossville 1-4 last night. The team had put in a great body of work this week. One double team of Isai Jimenez and Charlie Beardsley had a very challenging match with, and were able to win in only a one point score. By not giving up and finishing the team by winning a 10 point tiebreaker. Great job by everyone this week. Next up is the hot dog invite on Saturday. The team will take on the talented senior high school at 9 a.m. Come out and cheer them on. The varsity volleyball team fell in three to Western Boone last night. Leading the offense was Jalen Smith with 12 assists, Lily Rockhold with six kills, and Addie Keck with four kills. Daisy Valdez Santos came in and played well, leading a five-point runner for the team in two games. In JV action, Grace Myers led the way with six digs and seven assists. Emily Gilgihosa had two digs, and Morgan Berry picked up six digs. And now for a little announcement about eSports on Wednesday. Wednesday evening, Frankfurt Fortnite team had their very first Zone Wars matchup against Pike High School and Anderson High School. In a break for 10 rounds, we were neck and neck with Pike High School but fell short, with Anderson High School winning the first round. The Hot Dogs winning four rounds and Pike High School winning five rounds. Thursday night, our Rocket League team was able to get revenge on Pike High School by sweeping them 3-0. Round one was 7-2, round two was 7-1, and round three was 8-1. Shout out to Alan Garcia for scoring 17 goals among the three games. Next week is the start of the main season, so it, so it looks like we are off to a great start. In other news for sports today, we have a football game at Lebanon, so if you are able to come out, be sure to. Also, a big shout out to all the sports taking action this weekend. That's all for sports. Now sending it to Alyssa with weather. Thanks, Alyssa, and good morning, dogs. Coming into school today, it felt so good today, you know, with it being 59 degrees walking into school. And later today, walking out of school, it should feel like, um, 89, 87 degrees. And, Archie, you look kind of different in them jeans, but it look good. You can rock them. That should be all for me. Everyone have a blessed weekend. Stay safe, and I'll send it back to your host. No, you're not the weather boy. You smell like Cheez-Its. You are not Jaden Macias. You will never be him. You are not Jaden Macias. You're not him. Anyways, the hot dog challenge is Sunday. Even if you didn't sign up, you should still show up and watch. But anyways, here's a quick video to show you what's going down. We won last year, and we're going to win again this year. Now, I'm not a math teacher, but I've been running the numbers. Adkins can validate it for me.
Yeah. There's five teams. That means we have a 20% chance of winning. But one of those teams, no offense, is freshman. They're just here for the vibes. So that makes that 20% 25%. But then you have to take into account that Atkins and I, we won last year. So we beat the other three teams. So that 25% jumps way up to 40%. Then we also have the scientific methods of Miss Tillman. That brings, that adds about, I would say, 12%. So that adds 40 plus 12. That equals 52% chance of us winning. We got the engineering skills over here. That adds us up to 60%. And when you think you're forgetting someone, Mrs. Thomas, the GOAT, Brings us up to 80%. And lastly, we got Miss Valero that can yeah. talk trash and communicate in not one, but two languages. Yeah. So that brings that 20% to 25% to 40% to 52% to 60% to 80% all the way to 99.999% .999 chance of us winning. And the numbers don't lie. And it spells out trouble for all the other teams yeah. that we will win. Yeah. 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 Nos vemos. Yeah. Uh, my money's on Mr. Clayton. Anyways, for a lot. Anyways, for lunch and lines one and two, breakfast bagel with cheese stick, and lines three and four, soft pretzel with cheese. Looking like a lot of cheese today. Um, and now for birthdays, we got Madeline Hur, Kendra Salverda, G. And shout out to the brokest jumper in the NBA, Kyle Slowmo Anderson. And the rest are nobodies. Well, that's all I got for today. Have a great day, hot dogs.